Howdy. Today I'm going to be unboxing Massive Darkness. I was really late on the list, and I guess it's probably because I pledged a little late. It says I'm 169,040. Uh, I'm not sure if they do it by pledge number, but if they did, it's understandable why I got it at the end of the shipment. So I'm getting ready to unbox Massive Darkness, and we're going to see what's inside. Um, I have some new lighting, so hopefully we don't get much glare. Um, and I haven't had my recording stand out in a while, so I'm hoping this turns out to be a good height to record from for this unboxing. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. Now this video I'm just going to go through stuff and show you what everything looks like and what came in my pledge. Um, but I will make different videos going over, once I know how to play the game, I'll make different videos going over um, reviewing different expansion boxes and things like that. So I believe this is the replacement card pack. Some of the cards apparently were kind of dark and unreadable. So it's the first thing I'm finding in here. Um, it's probably not too amazingly interesting to go over, but let's just go ahead and look at them and make sure they look like good cards. So I'm going to get this big box out of the way in a second. Um, let's see, replacement cards. So it looks like I'm getting some hero replacement cards. I'm not sure exactly what was wrong with the heroes. I know that some of the guards had issues where you couldn't read uh, some of their numbers. But looks pretty cool. Got lots of replacement stuff. I bought lots of stuff. I didn't buy the elementals. I didn't buy like the little frilly stuff like extra doors or anything like that. But I got every enemy and hero pack except for the elementals just because I thought they were a little overpriced. But now I see people on eBay trying to get $120 for them. So I don't know what that's all about. So maybe I should have bought them just so I could have them and not have to wait till they come out. All right, so all the card art's pretty good and this is just a replacement pack. But let's go ahead and find out what's in this box. I'll open these boxes individually in a moment. I got my Massive Darkness chest and pillars. I have the Warrior Priests and the Spearman Cyclops, Spear Maiden Cyclops, Rattlings, Reptosaurians, don't know why they just didn't say Lizardmen, um, Sorcerers vs. Lord Tusk, Blood Moon Assassins vs. the Elephant. Noble Warriors versus the Cockatrice. Troglodytes. Wow, this is heavy. The Lightbringer pack. I really want to see what this is. This is super heavy. All right, and at the bottom, it looks like we have massive darkness. Wow, it's heavy as well. I think we might get our money's worth out of this. Let's go ahead and get that big box out of the way so we can look at stuff. And I guess we got a lot of junk to go through. We might as well start with the core box. So let's get this core box open, look at things really quickly. Like I said, when I know more about the game, I'll actually do some reviews over this content. Right now, we're just here to look at stuff. And I don't think that's a good height to look at stuff, so let me readjust my camera real quick. Alright, I readjusted my camera to a lower height um, so we can get a better look at this stuff. And we are now ready to open the Massive Darkness box. This thing is very heavy. That It's significantly heavier than Black Plague, I would say. This box is tight. Don't want to pop a corner. All right, there we go. The rules and quests. I've been reading the instructions online already, so hopefully sometime 
early next week or this weekend, I'll get a chance at the first mission so y'all can see that. Lots of little tokens. Don't know what this dead stuff is, but it all looks pretty cool. And level markers. More level markers. Chests, which luckily we get some free apparently. And we get uh, some pillars. So just kind of terrain and doors. Now we're going to get to the models. Wow. Alright. So... A lot to look at here. Um, let's see. We got little guys with bows. We got more of those. Got these little dwarves with hatchets. Let's see. We got dwarves with hammers. Looks like goblins with a sword and a dagger. We got lots of those. Looks like we got some orcs. Maybe that was an orc, not a goblin. Um, probably, I guess, another orc. That's about it for this page. Let's look. Hmm. Got another cool looking guy. Big, probably orc with a hammer. Another dwarf. A dwarf with two blades, that's pretty cool. Some sort of spellcaster, maybe some sort of shaman. Another dwarf with a hammer. Not sure what this is. Maybe a really big guy. Maybe this guy's an ogre or just a big human. Um, just looks like a guy with a big sword. This guy kind of looks evil. Like that's a desecrated blade or something. This guy's pretty awesome. I'm not sure if he's an agent or what he is. But having those two swords out like that, just a pretty cool pose. Let's look at the rest of the bad guys before we turn our eyes to the heroes. Now, these monsters are very big. Um, not huge, but pretty good size. Here's a big spider. Significantly larger than our heroes. We got this like little flaming uh, hound. It's like... Uh, lady with eight arms with lots of blades. She's going to be pretty rough, I bet. Really big demon. Kind of looks like Diablo. Let's see if we can get that focused in. There we go. And finally, maybe a troll. Let's go ahead and look at the heroes real quick. And then we'll move on to the tiles and... We'll probably glance at some of the cards real quick. So, here's our dwarf. Um, here's our archer. Our assassin. Looks like somebody that's very similar to Clovis, dual wielding swords. We got our mage. And looks like a berserker. Of course, we got our little pegs, just like we do with uh, Zombicide Black Plague. We got our rings. We have our dashboards, which have micro experience if we're playing story mode, or normal experience if we're playing normal, um, or after we get enough micro experience. So we got two hand slots, an armor slot, and our card slot. And we got hit points over here. Go ahead and move those aside. And let's see what's all in here. Looks like we got tiles, dice, cards for all of our different hero classes. They come in packs of 20. Now, we're not actually going over any of the skills for any of this stuff, so I'll leave those sealed. And I have a lot of stuff to open, so we're probably going to be looking at the models, and we're going to look 
quickly at the cards. I'm not going to pop the cards during this video just because it was going to take forever to get through all this content already. But here looks like our enemy cards and maybe some hero cards. Let's go ahead and look at these tiles though. Because they're pretty interesting. Alright, they're double sided. So kind of looks like the ones from Zombicide Black Plague, Black Plague, but we're in dungeons now, so that's exciting. So I'm just going to run through these real quick so y'all can see what they look like. And I guess we'll put them, run out of room here, over here. Alright, I like the art. I like the art in Black Plague, but I like the darkness and the light. Of course, that's part of the game mechanics, but I still think it looks pretty cool. Alright, let's get a look at these dice, and then we can get this box out of the way in a moment. So we got our attack dice, which has some swords, some bams, and I think there was a diamond on here, and a diamond. So, all these dice have similar things. Well, the red and the yellow are attack dice. So the yellow doesn't look quite as strong, but it's got some bams, no diamonds. The green are your defensive dice. They have shields, bams, diamonds, and the blue looks to be the weaker of the two. All right, we got a huge pack of weapons and treasures. Um, this is more treasures. I'm not sure if all these are treasures. I think some of them are starting items, but looks like you get a lot of cards in the base pack. All right, let's get all this stuff out of the way so we can start popping open some other boxes. And I'll get all this organized later. All right, I guess the most important thing that we want to look at next is going to be that Lightbringer Pledge. So I could move my replacement cards somewhere I can find them, so I know I can swap stuff out later. The Quest of Crystal and Lava. I was real excited about this one. So extra missions. We didn't get two expan. We didn't get an expansion that has extra missions like we did with Black Plague. So that little mini expansion is very important to me because more missions to play. Let's look at some of these enemies. Oh. While we're on the topic of the crystal expansion, let's go ahead and get look at those tiles. Oh, other stuff to see. So, I'm getting a little getting a little distracted here, but let's go ahead and look at these tiles. I don't want to clip any of the art. There we go. Again, we got a lot to open, so I'm going to try to move pretty quick. All right, here's the crystal expansion and the lava. Again, these have dark and light areas apparently, so that's pretty cool. Um, there's a little massive darkness bag. I know everybody always puts these in their uh, free stuff for some reason. I never really use them. They look cool, but I'm not too in it, into it. Here's some of our bonus artifacts. Uh, I like the art on it. All of our monster cards and our extra heroes. And then some of those player cards. So the idea is you keep using these bone crushers. I'm probably going to make a copy for my video. Um, because I'd really hate to tear these off. And if you end up playing the normal way, where you have to get a new sheet every mission, um, if you play through the game twice, all these are gone. So I'm probably going to be photocopying them. All right, let's get the crystal expansion put back up. Because last time I didn't repack the last box. And I'm going to need to repack to be able to get 
going with everything. So, we got some monsters. Here's the big guy with the big rock, and he is large. Uh, we got our Beholder with lots of eyes all over him. He's pretty cool. Don't know what they actually call him. Uh, I think this is like a werebore or bear. And this guy is just ugly. Yeah. Looks like a troll with a big stick. Another looking guy that's kind of like a Diablo. Got a big sword. And I think maybe this might be our ogre. Let's get these guys sealed back up. And I believe there was another one of these. Oh, there it is. Whew. There's a lot of stuff in here. This is a whole little set of enemies. We got some more dwarves. These are all the extra ones that you've already seen, I believe. So these are just extras from the core box. All right, so got another looking, I'm guessing this is a big orc. A smaller orc with a dagger in his arm. Looks like a human, not an orc. Just a mean guy. I believe this is our iron golem. Not sure what he is. Looks like an Egyptian blade. Maybe a mummy. Or is this our iron golem? I think this might be the iron golem. Two-headed ogre. Our unicorn! Um... Not sure. A werewolf. There we go. And a guy with a big curved blade. All right, for heroes, we got this person that kind of looks like a witch doctor. Got a hot guy with a really big hammer. And I just love people with dual swords. They're so cool. All right, that should be everything from this box. And that covers everything that you get in the base pledge. Well, that covers the base game and all the exclusives or all the, all the little extras. I know there's still a lot of stuff to go through. Okay, I'm putting that in wrong. So let's just go ahead and move this box out of the way. All right. We got a lot of boxes to go through, but these should go a little faster. All right, let's start with these doors. Doors and chests. All right, this one should go pretty quick. if it wasn't sealed shut with tape. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Okay, well, we'll look at what a door and pillar look like. Sorry, a chest and a pillar. I didn't get the doors. All right, those are gonna have to be organized later. This falling into the, I'll fix it later. So just push those out of the way. We're gonna have a really messy table when this is all done. And I think what I would like to do is I would like to go through all the enemy boxes. So let's start with the enemy boxes. Troglodytes. These are our free guys. All right. This is taped. But I'm going to go ahead and cut tape on both sides so my pieces don't spew everywhere like I did a second ago. Alright, up at the top we got some cards. Can 
We got a Minotaur. Let's see if I can grab one of each model. This guy. A guy with an axe. A guy with two swords. Might have already seen these in the core box. See if I can find their home. And that guy lived there. Guy with a really big sword. That's lots of guys with really big swords. All right. I think we can get this all sealed up now. Maybe I'm not that lucky. See if I can get this to go down. This was like that. I did it. And now these go here. And we can call that box done and get it out of the way. And it'll actually be resealed. Let's look at these rattlings. All right. Looks like this one's just two layered. No, it's probably three layered again. I like that they make really cool boxes that can store everything. But if I'm just trying to quickly show people stuff, that's kind of annoying. So we got our cards. Let's look at what these guys look like. Come on. Did they tape this one on four sides? Nope, just three. Okay. I thought I got the tape here. I did. There we go. We got some cards. We got a really big rat with um, some sort of double bladed stick and a knife. It's pretty cool. We got several of these guys, really big crossbow with a sword. Wait, do we have several of him? Yeah, we do. Another guy with two swords. There's always a good looking guy with two swords. This one just happens to have a tail as well. And this is new, this is new. Guy with two flails and Looks like a broom, but I'm guessing that's probably fire or feathers. All right, and we got lots of guys with this little hooked sword and a shield. Going to get everything repacked and move on to our next box. Some sort of big, cool-looking reptile there. Man, this is a ton of stuff. I think I over-ordered. <laughs> but I have, I have a problem with that. You, you want it all. It all just looks so cool. All right, let's find the tape. Here's a side. Should be on the opposite side. Nope. Am I getting better at this? Yep, three sides. They keep fooling me. Some of the stuff is two. All right, we got our cards, of course. 
we got just a huge lizard. He's going to be fun to fight. I really liked fighting the abominations in Black Plague. Luckily, I got the conversion kit somewhere. I didn't see the conversion kit. I'm going to have to look for that. It was checked off. We'll look for that in the, in the bottom of that box in a minute. So we got this guy with a broken sword, it looks like. That's just a really short sword and a stone sword. Oh, I went too far. So a stone sword and a little broken, not a broken sword, a short sword. Got a guy with two axes. I seem to be going off too far this way. I'll try to correct. Um, guy with maybe a wand and a sword. Guy with two swords. I keep centering this under my cell phone, but I think because my camera is on one side that I just keep messing it up. Why is this hanging? We got some guys with blow guns. Alright, let me get them put back up and then we can go into our smaller boxes. I really just want to stop and make sure I got my conversion kit. But we'll deal with that in a second. <laughs> to go look. <laughs> okay, it was in the bottom of the box. I was freaked out. But now we know and we can move on. This is the Spear Maiden. And again, we're just looking at models right now. I'm not going over whether I think things are good or not. Um, and we don't have time to look at the cards. When I review the boxes individually, we'll have time for all that. But, those reviews will take a while because I want to actually have played the game enough to be able to tell you if I think a box is good or not. <laughs> Alright, so, we'll go over the heroes first, because that was the first person I got out. Looks like a sorcerer with a little blade. Um, this is like, I think these are actually warrior priests. So he's got like a little flail and a mace. And this one here is a shield and a sword, maybe like a paladin or a tank. And all these models are huge. Just look at the comparison. Wow. All right, let's seal it back up. We got three more of these suckers. And I do want to actually look at the conversion kit a little bit tonight because I know how to play Black Plague. So I want to see how good those guys are. Like what I really think of those guys. Not sealing as well as I'd like. So we're just going to push it out of the way. Lord Tusk versus the Sorcerer. This guy is probably going to be smaller. This box isn't quite as thick. Ooh, a sorcerer sheet. Some cards. Wow, he's so puny compared to the other guy. I'm sure he's got excellent rules. I'm sorry, I'm kind of a fanboy. So, I'm not going to knock him for being small. But hopefully they're not the same price, because that other guy's a lot of plastic. Oh, I think this was our free pack, so... It his price, price was free. Uh, this is our sorcerer. Looks like we got some sort of tank. And a shadow in a pretty cool pose. He's getting ready to run. Maybe he's on the move and going to get somebody in the back. And Lord Tusk. Two huge blades. And I know he's, I'm saying he's small, but look at that. He's actually pretty big. 
That sword is as big as Ajax. I don't know all of their names. I just, I think that's that guy's name. And again, we're not going to waste time. Let's just push it out of the way. I got room on the table. The elephant. This box is pretty thick. I'm betting he's big. Blood Moon Assassin. Probably another 20 pages of them. But again, I would go with photocopy. It's not going to look as pretty because I don't have a color printer, so I don't know. All right, we got this huge elephant with looks like a talon on the end of his trunk, which is a little weird. Another assassin. You just can't have enough of those. I'm hoping the assassins in this game are pretty strong. In sword and sorcery, I kind of thought the rogue class was kind of weak, so I don't play it. So I'd like to play an assassin in this game. But if, if y'all like this game and you haven't played Sword and Sorcery, sorry, I just want to go ahead and plug that game for, well, I guess not really a plug. Just, that game's pretty amazing. So this is probably going to be an amazing game too. I just, if you haven't tried it, go out there, get Sword and Sorcery. It's awesome. Noble Warriors. So another character class. I have so many choices. It's going to take me forever to build my party. And I still haven't decided if I'm going to go story mode or play it as it was originally intended um, with uh, tossing your characters after every mission. I don't like doing that, but the upside of doing that, it allows you to experiment with lots of different uh, heroes. All right, so the cockatrice box. We got this little guy with a spear and a shield. We got something with an M. I, I forgot her name, but I think it has an M. But a girl with two swords, female Clovis. And a little dwarf with a shield, and she also has a short sword. And the cockatrice. Looks like a big angry chuckabo. All right, we got all that junk out of the way. Now the conversion kit. And we're going to leave all this stuff sealed because, yeah, I have no idea what any of this game stuff means yet. So looking at the conversions of the other guys isn't really that important. But I have to quickly look through these characters. These are going to be quick gut reactions. Um, so it's not really if a character is good or not. I'm just kind of telling you. I guess who I think will be overpowered, I guess, <laughs> just by glance. I'll have to look through these much deeper later. Ajax plus one damage of action, so that's pretty awesome. He can hold Dragon Bile there. That's okay. It leaves him with a torch and an offhand, something in the main hand. But he's got plus one magic die, slippery, free combat action, plus one to dice roll magic, regeneration. Wow, that's pretty interesting. Um, fairly solid. I think there's. A, I've seen more broken characters than this. Born Leader. I've never had anybody. I've never played anyone with Born Leader, I don't think. But that's pretty cool. Um, looks like an okay character. Bloodlust, plus one damage melee. I really like orange access to plus one, because then you have to earn it. Um, decent character. Magic action. Plus one magic die. That's all just throwing a ton of magic attacks. Re pretty strong character. Um, Reaper, melee, plus one damage. Again, I love the plus one uh, orange access. Shove, I love shove. Uh, Bloodlust magic, never really seen that, but I'm interested in it. And it looks like I'm going to have to stop for a minute. All right, picking up where we left off. So I'm just going through these guys really quick and just looking for things that are interesting. Um, Bloodlust, okay, combat. This guy's fairly generic. Ooh, she starts with shove. I love shove. Um, especially if you're running a ranged heavy group, it gives you the option to let people cluster on you, push them off, let the other characters kill them. 
Uh, Bloodlust Melee, everything else is kind of mediocre, but Shove at the start, oh my gosh, love that. Plus one dice roll magic. That's pretty amazing when you're dual wielding spells. Uh, free magic action, pretty good. Uh, solid character, love the plus one dice roll magic. Point blank, hit and run, spellcaster, a point blank spellcaster. Interesting. Reaper, Bloodlust, Ironhide, Shove. Eh. Ironhide, Taunt. I like Taunt, but I like it earlier. Uh, Ironhide's cool, but I tend to go damage heavy with my groups. Lifesaver, haven't tried it. It's probably pretty cool. Dreadnought Walkers. I don't know what Dreadnought is, so may have to look into this character. Plus one zone per move. That's pretty big. Um, action, ranged action, dice roll ranged. A ranged character that moves fast. I like it. Swordsman. You could dual wield those great swords or the stuff that I messed up. There's... Was it bastard swords I messed up in my mission and I dual wielded that I wasn't supposed to? So I messed up one sword combo. Um, so swordsman's pretty cool. Uh, frenzy, combat, late, plus one damage, plus one move action, okay. Um, plus one range damaged, ambidextrous. Um, ambidextrous is pretty cool. I think you treat all weapons as they're dual wield. You could dual wield bows, um, I think, um, which would be stupid. But I've never had ambidextrous. I want to play this character. The plus one damage ranged isn't as overpowered as I as you would normally think because you don't start the game with a uh, weapon that can do two damage. You at least have to find a two damage ranged weapon. Tough, bloodlust, blood reaper damage, decent. Plus one to dice roll melee, love it. Plus one to magic. Solid character. Plus one damage melee. She can hold a crossbow there. That's pretty cool. Melee action, combat, combat. Wish, like, plus one damage combat would be amazing since she can have a bow over there. Pretty strong character. Probably broken because you could start her with the hammer. Taunt. I like taunt. Not as much as shove. So there are a few standout characters I really liked. But overall, just different combinations of skills we're used to using. All right. That about does it. It's going to take me forever to get all these boxes back together. But thank you all for watching.